In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips to solve equations faster, and we're gonna solve three problems. Let's get into it. Starting with our first question, we got a system of equations, and the question says, according to the system of equations above, what is the value of x? And our first tip here is solve what the question is asking for. This seems obvious, but a lot of times you'll solve for the wrong variable, then have to plug it in, when you can more directly solve for exactly what they're asking for. So looking at the equation here, we see that both of these have x's, meaning we could cancel those out using elimination, and we would get y. And that works, then you'd have to plug in y to get x, but remember, the question is asking for x. So what we can do is, click on the draw, we can change this equation, so it has a 2y just like that one, and do that by multiplying everything by 2, get 2x plus 2y equals negative 18 and set up our other equation below, x plus 2y equals negative 25. And now if we subtract, we can get rid of the y and directly solve for x. And right away, we get x equals negative 18 minus negative 25, seven. So we get x equals seven. And this one we see we get the answer right away. We don't have to get y first, so we solve the question more quickly, and we stop ourselves from making any mistakes as we go through a longer problem. Let's go to our second question and our second tip. This question reads, if 3x minus y equals 12, what is the value of 8 to the x over 2 to the y? And we have a bunch of answers. And this tip here, you get the select button, is simplify to make the equations look alike. And this is especially true with questions involving variable exponents. So here we have another system of equations, uh, one involving variable exponents, and we know that we got the eight to the x, the two to the y, so we can't really solve for one variable there. So the best we can do is if we look at this equation, we can get this looking something like this, looking something like three x minus y. So let's get into that. We have eight to the x over two to the y. First thing I'll do is bring the two to the y up. So I get eight to the x times two to the negative y, just brought the variable over the division sign. Then this eight here can be turned into two to the three to the x, because two cubed is eight, times two times negative y, two to the negative y. And then we can combine the to the three and to the x. We would get two to the three x times two to the negative y. And here we're starting to see that. We got the three x minus y that looks like the three x minus y over here. Then we combine these and we get two to the three x minus y. Now that we have this second equation or second expression looking like the first one, we can just plug in three x minus y equals 12 and we get two to the 12 and that gives us our answer. So again, you can simplify to make the equations look alike. A lot of times you might get scary looking problems, for example, the one with variable exponents, but you can often make one expression look like another expression. This allows you to quickly plug in and simplify a lot of things at once. And now for our last question, we have another system of equations. And it says in the equations above, B and C represent the price per pound in dollars of beef and chicken respectively, X weeks after July 1st during the summer. What was the price per pound of beef when it was equal to the price per pound of chicken? So we know we wanna solve these like a system of equations when they're equal. And the tip for this question is multiply everything by 10 or 100. And we can do this to make problems with fractions or decimals that may be a little bit ugly, may mess with us a little bit, may take a little bit longer to solve in our heads, and we make them a little bit easier. So if we set up our equation, we have 2.35 plus 0.25x equals 1.75 plus 0.40x. So here we got our equation with some decimals in it, and we can solve this, but it would probably take us a little bit longer than if we multiplied everything here by 100. So both sides can multiply by 100. 2.35 becomes 235, 0.25x becomes plus 25x, 
1.75 becomes 175 and 0.4 becomes 40x. So now this looks a lot nicer. We like working with whole numbers a lot better and we can solve this more easily. So I'd subtract 25x from both sides, do it over here, and we would get 15x. At the same time, I'm gonna subtract 175 from both sides, and we'll get 15x equals 60. And we can divide by 15, and we get x equals four, and the question is looking for the price of beef. So we'll plug the x equals four here. 0.25 times four is one, plus 2.35, and we get our answer as D. And with these three tips, you can solve equations a lot faster. And if this information helped you, please leave a like and please subscribe. I'm gonna post SAT help videos every Wednesday. Thanks and hope to see you next time.